Hey, what's up, guys? Just a quick little review here for you. I've uh, recently started, you know, creating all kinds of different content here myself, and I started off with a smartphone. And given the amount of people right now that are starting up their own YouTube channels and Twitch streaming and all that good stuff, let's take a look at this awesome little kit that I got here for, I mean, it's all in one smartphone vlogging kit. You could use it for anything. It is called the Comica CVM VM10 K2. This is a, it's a neat little smartphone kit. It's got everything you could ever need in here. It comes with a nice little tripod with this little ball head mount here. You get a nice sturdy little phone clamp that has a quarter inch thread on the bottom and top as well as a cold shoe mount for the included shotgun mic. So now normally I record using a Blue Yeti condenser microphone, but to be fair to this microphone, I'm only using a little clip-on lav mic because obviously it's not going to sound like a, you know, an expensive Blue Yeti condenser mic. So, whoo, let's hop on down and I'll show you guys what we got going on in here, all right? Let's do it. All right, so here we have our Comica CVM VM10-K2 multifunction smartphone video kit. And what do we get in our package here? You get your shotgun microphone, the flexible smartphone clamp, cool little tripod. Very nice that they actually include the TRS to TRRS audio patch cable there. A lot of these kits don't come with that for whatever reason. You get a nice little dead cat wind muff and of course a nice portable little carry case. Made in China, assembled in China. So, let's go over this, see what we got, huh? Let's pop this bad boy open. Nice, very nice. I'm impressed already. Comes with a very nice little carry case here, a little organizer. Let's open this puppy up. All right, very nice. So we got our little QC card, little warranty instructions. And of course your little user manual. Put that stuff to the side for now. So let's check out the star of the show here, your phone clamp. Very nice, all made from CNC to aluminum. You have nice little rubber pads in here to hold your phone tight. Nice lip on it so that even uh, if it is slightly loose for whatever reason, it won't just flop right out of the front like that. And you have a nice rubber pad on the bottom and this is all completely disassemblable. Disassemblable? Yeah, that's a word. And you have, like I said, you have your quarter inch mount, your little rubber pad. And what's nice is they give you a thumb screw, a captive thumb screw in here to use it to fasten it to your tripod or whatever you're using. And then you have your cold shoe mount up top here for your shotgun mic to slot into. And this is where you, you also have a quarter inch mount up top here. And you just loosen this to open it up. Now what I find is this is a lot quicker and a lot easier if you just hold pressure on that. And then you can just spin this right out to where you need. Same thing when you're closing it. It's just it makes life quicker, life easier, you know. So, moving on. Here we have a nice, nice little compact on-camera shotgun mic. It's Comica's CVM VM102 Mark II video microphone. And this too, all aluminum construction, TRS two pole or uh, three pole sorry connector here and it comes with a nice little pop filter good sized mic capsule in there standard design and of course it comes with a nice little spring shock mount here that has its integrated cold shoe which also has a quarter by 20 mount on there so that's nice there's a lot of flexibility a lot of options here 
And also for the mic, as I mentioned before, you get your nice little dead cat windscreen here, wind muff, and that just stretches like so, right over your microphone, and then you're good to go and take this bad boy out into the windiest days and get good, crisp, clear audio. So we'll put that to the side. Here is your, it comes with a nice patch cable. Again, that's really nice that they actually included this. There's far too many of these kits that don't come with the proper cables you'd need to actually use it. Uh, the two or three pole black head here goes in the microphone and your full four pole TRRS, the gray head here, goes in the smartphone end. So they idiot proofed that for you. And then last but not least, we have Comica's nice little uh, ball head tripod here. Your legs have little rubber pads on the bottom so it won't slip and you could set this at just about any height you want and it'll stay right there for you. And these are nice, nice robust legs. I mean, there's no, no, whoop. <laughs> there's no give to it or anything. It's, it's solid. And this too is screwed together. I like to see that it's not glued. And the way your ball head works here, you have a quarter by 20 thread here, rubber padded set, not set screw, uh, nut on it. And then the way you work this ball head is you just push this button in, boop. And then you can set that wherever you want. Nice and smooth, you can set it wherever you need to. And then when you let go of that button, it's locked in place. And uh, no smartphone is gonna be heavy enough to move that. No way. So, let's go dive down. We'll, I'll show you guys how to get this set up. And then we'll do a little audio test with it, all right? All right, so I'll give you guys the quick little rundown here on how this gets set up. Take your little, take your phone mount, take your end here with the captive thumb screw. Put that down over your tripod. Screw that puppy down till you feel it's tight. You don't have to go crazy tight on this. I'll tilt that back for you. Then what you'll do next, take your little shotgun mic, slot that into your cold shoe mount up top. Then we will open our mount and drop our phone in. Just like that. And that's it, guys. I mean, there's really nothing, not much to this. But I figured somebody will probably want to know, so I'll go over the setup quick. And there you go. You have your phone inserted. And as I, whoop. And like I said, they idiot proofed the cable, but just in case, microphone end, phone end. So that just goes right into the back of your microphone and into your headphone jack on your phone, unless you have a new iPhone, in which case you're gonna need a lightning adapter for that. Thanks, Apple. Now, I, I'm using a little wide angle lens on this camera just because this is such a tight space, I can't really get it far enough away. So, now that you can see how easily that sets up, just like that, bang, you're ready to go. You're, you're vlog ready. So. Let's switch over from the Canon camera here and my little lav mic, and we'll hop over to some iPhone video with the shotgun mic installed. Alright guys, so here's our little audio video sample here with the my old iPhone 6s plugged in through their shotgun mic and on the Comica phone mount. I'm impressed. The audio sounds good. It's perfectly stable. It's built very robustly. I can't find anything to fault on it. Honestly, this is an excellent product. The price is right. 
you get a great shotgun mic with it. The I, I mean, you won't find another shotgun mic with this good of audio for this price. You just, you won't. And let me, uh, I'll pick you guys up here. See uh, where you could use it in your little, your vlogging rig type setups. It's a very cool, very useful, lightweight, so you could use this thing for hours on end if you wanted to with no issues. And there's also a pro version of this one, which, which has kind of an upgraded tripod. But for somebody on a budget just getting into content creation or you want to use it for, you know, video calls, anything like that, it's a very, very handy little device. I highly recommend it, and I hope you found this review useful. Thank you, and I, uh, I appreciate your watching my video. If you thought it was helpful, hit that little helpful button, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next review. Later.